throws deep down the sideline and it's broken up by the outstanding safety Kyle Hamilton. Doty in trouble. And it didn't look like line. he got out of the end zone from, from here. Solomon Vault. And he is roughed up at the 12. Really hitting hard. Hey everybody, Dave Archer, Atlanta Falcon Radio Network. And you've, you've heard our series up to this point. Here are some of the players that we didn't talk about in our previous packages that I think are going to be major impacts in the National Football League. Let's start with Kyle Hamilton, the big Notre Dame safety, 6'4", 220 pounds. Now this is a guy that's a true box safety that does have some coverage skills. That's not his strength. His strength is to make plays around the line of scrimmage. Very good tackler out in space, has good range from sideline to sideline, and has excellent ball skills when he does get in coverage. Now, if he's playing in the middle of the field as a free safety, he does have that range to get sideline to sideline because of his instincts. He's a very instinctual player, reads the quarterback extremely well, eight interceptions in his career. Now, this is a guy that was limited last year. He got hurt. He got injured in, uh, in the season for Notre Dame, did not finish the year. So another guy, we've talked about a number of guys uh, during our series here where guys are coming off of injury and Hamilton is another guy. But I think that a lot of people feel like he's going to be healthy and ready to go. Jordan Davis. I mean, how do you go very much farther without best player available? Jordan Davis it defies logic. Okay, six foot six, 340 pounds, ran 4740 at the combine. I, I'm just glad I'm not playing against the dude. I mean, the guy has tremendous hands and quickness off the ball. You saw him in the middle of that gigantic and, and really difficult Georgia defense eating up blocks. And when they didn't double team him, he was on, on somebody in the backfield. Uh, when they did double team him, a lot of times he was on the guy in the backfield anyway. So Jordan Davis is going to be a get for somebody. You could bet that Jordan Davis is going to come off the board in the first round. Linebackers, Devin Lloyd, the outstanding linebacker out of Utah. I'm going to mention two linebackers here. And I think you know who the other one is. But this one, Devin Lloyd out of Utah, bigger kid, six foot three, 240 pounds, more of your the typical Mike inside linebacker, the old school linebacker, thumper at the point of attack. I don't think he's a great cover guy, albeit he has a good feel for how to get out in zones and, and cover those zones. Not sure you want him locked on anybody, but if you want a guy that's going to come down in that A gap, B gap, and fill and blow the run game up, this is the guy, is Devin Lloyd, the linebacker out of Utah. Uh, the other linebacker I was talking about, you know who he is, Nicobe Dean, the outstanding speed linebacker everywhere on the field player for Georgia. Nicobe is sideline to sideline. He's another instinctual guy. He can sniff out plays. I mean, there's some screen plays. I think it was even in the game against Michigan in the bowl game where they tried to throw a swing screen, and Nicobe Dean almost caught the football because he already read it and was on the play. So this is a guy that is sideline to sideline. The problem you have with Nicobe Dean, he's not very big. Okay, this is a guy that's only six feet, 5'11", some would say, under 230 pounds. So what we talked about with Devin Lloyd and his ability to step up and thump people in the gap, that's all, not really Nicobe Dean's bag. Nicobe Dean is going to run around some blocks. You've got to have quickness to get to that second level to get him. But he's an outstanding blitzer. Go back and look at the tape and watch Georgia. That's how they affected the passer, is they would heat you up with extra rushers. Nicobe Dean is as good as it gets at blitzing through the A-gap. A safety that's not getting a lot of conversation, Jalen Petrie out of Baylor. This is a kid that's a little bit undersized, 5'11", 198 completely instinctual dude. He understands how to get wherever he is. He's, he's very versatile, can play in the back end, can play in the box, even with his size. And he had some uh, moments for Baylor, a really good Baylor defense, where he rushed the passer and got off the passer. Uh, but his, his the biggest problem for this young man is he's not a very big dude. And so uh, you've got to wonder about the size factor for Jalen Petrie. Defensive player of the year in the Big 12 is a guy that can go make some plays for you. Intercepted. Inside the 50-yard line by Jalen Petrie. Devontae Wyatt, another big dude off this Georgia team. It's almost an alumni party for the Georgia defense, but why not? Why not mention Devontae Wyatt, a guy that might be forgotten a little bit and some think might be the best defensive lineman of the group. But Wyatt, 6'3", 304, uh, pure three technique to come through the middle. 4'7", 7", at 304 pounds did this big kid run the 40 in. Uh, I think we could have listed the entire Georgia defense, but uh, give Devontae Wyatt some due as well. He's the one that's not really being talked about as much, and I think he's going to have a major impact in the National Football League, whoever ends up with this big kid out of Georgia. This is a really deep draft. Just a few of the players that I think that we haven't necessarily mentioned that I wanted to get in, and hey, congratulations, Georgia. I think it's virtually all your guys.